Um, oh, we're getting close on time. All right, so in this one, we have f plus g of x. Basically, again, using my notation, f of x plus g of x. And then they want us to figure out what the domain is. Well, in this case, we know what f of x is, which is 2x, plus square root of x minus 1. Now, do we have any like terms? No. No, so it's like the other problem, right? There's no like terms. We can't do anything. You good? You got something? You didn't finish, you're going to come back later or tomorrow or next week? Yeah. All right. So we can't do anything. However, do we have a restriction? Do we have a variable in any denominator? Yeah. No, we don't. But do we have a variable under a radical? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what we do is we take the whole expression under the radical. In this case, it's only x. So our domain is going to be our radicand greater than or equal to 0. Well, that's already solved for x, so we're done. So the only restrictions on our domain is x has to be all, real, all numbers greater than or equal to 0. Because think about it. If you said x is negative 1, while you can plug negative 1 here, you can't plug a negative 1 in for there, right? Because you can't take square root of a negative number. So the domain is for all numbers greater than or equal to 0. All right.